do you think that short films can be little pieces of what can possibly be a feature length film? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. That's, I mean, I think that's what I'm working towards with Teen Night and the film that I'm going to make after school. Um, I eventually do, I think, want to make a feature as of now, um, kind of about adolescence on Long Island and kind of like all the hypersexuality that exists um, that's kind of not talked about or not really known um, and kind of just showing that to people so yeah <laughs> what would be an example of this kind of hypersexuality like people having multiple partners is that uh, it? no it's more like being so young but people expecting things of you I guess sort of thing and but and then you think it's normal so um, that that's what really interests me because I just you know when I was doing research for my for teen night I would look through old Facebook messages and it's crazy how many people it's it's all very weirdly sexual but these kids are like 15 14 and I think it's just a time where both boys and girls are exploring their sexual not their sexual but like their they're seeing what's out there, but then what's given to them is is putting these expectations, I guess, um, especially on on like young girls and everything. So, yeah. So uh, you being um, uh, a young woman mm -hmm. that has to maneuver through this kind of hypersexual thing that is youth, yeah. <laughs> um, has the idea for Teen Night been in your head already? even when you just growing up oh no no I think um that came to me when you know we were doing our second films of film school and I just knew I wanted to do something in that realm because I thought it was really interesting and just looking back on it I wanted to explore more I just like rediscovered my old my old um diary sort of thing which is literally like not your typical diary it's printed with page protectors in a binder with full single spaced pages and pages and pages of a bunch of different stuff but it was just crazy the thought process back then um and the experiences and the people and experiencing all that at such a young age it's like i wanted to explore that more because i know that other people have other girls have gone through the same thing and i was actually recently just i was at a bar yesterday and I was talking to one of the girls and she was like, it's crazy, like, this, this shit we used to do, like, I can't believe it. And I'm like, I know, like, it's a whole other, and then you, all you got to do is just learn and you learn from it. Um, and that's the best part about it, I guess. And that's what I kind of want to focus on. So, so, um, teen night, the idea for teen night, uh, comes with your interaction with people or just kind of an idea you just kind of curated off the top of your, not off the top of your head, but yeah. you kind of just <laughs> wrote out. Um, I could, it's based semi, semi off my past, I would say. Like the actual storyline is not, it's something that I've created and something that I've made up. But it's based on characters and people and the environment that is very genuine. Um, the whole, the whole car packed with people and the way people talk and, and just that whole, the, what's the word? The way, just the way people talk to each other and sort of thing like that. That that was definitely taken from like real life, and I wanted to create that like the ocean side, Long Island, like like eighth grade or eighth to ninth grade experience that was unconventional. Like not everyone's having that experience in ninth grade or tenth grade, but you know, some people just get start talking to the wrong person and then it escalates and I mean then you just kind of get caught up in where you are and you think it's normal so yeah so uh team